For decades, tanks have ruled the battlefield with their heavy armor and massive firepower, making them seem nearly unstoppable. But as technology evolves, so do the weapons designed to take them down. From the early days of the Panzerfaust to today's high-tech tow missiles, infantry forces have developed increasingly powerful tools to counter armored threats. One weapon, in particular, has earned a reputation as a tank's worst nightmare. The Next Generation Light Anti-Tank Weapon, or NLAW. Smaller, lighter, and more versatile than earlier systems, the NLAW has become a game changer. But what exactly makes this anti-tank weapon so effective? Stick around as we dive into its capabilities, performance, and why it's become one of the most feared weapons on the modern battlefield. The NLAW system came to life through a collaboration between Sweden and the UK with a shared goal of revolutionizing anti-tank capabilities for infantry units. By combining Saab, Sweden's leading defense technology company, with the UK's deep expertise in military tactics and hardware, they developed a portable, versatile, and highly effective anti-tank weapon. This partnership wasn't just about advancing technology. It was about creating a tactical game changer for ground forces worldwide, perfectly suited to the evolving demands of modern warfare. The NLAW shines for its smart, portable design. Weighing just 12.5 kilograms total, with the missile itself at 6.5 kilograms, it's light enough for a single soldier to carry with ease. Its compact size, about one meter long, makes it super convenient to transport, which is a huge advantage in various combat situations. This ideal balance of weight and size allows troops to move quickly and deploy it on the go, giving them the firepower to take on tanks without being weighed down by heavy gear. This anti-tank really stands out when it comes to flexibility in the field, offering an effective range of 20 to 800 meters. This makes it ideal for both close quarters combat and longer range engagements, allowing soldiers to easily adapt to different combat scenarios, whether in tight urban settings or out in the open. What makes it even better are its two attack modes, the overfly top attack and direct attack. The overfly top attack mode allows the missile to rise about a meter above the target before striking from above, which is great for hitting tanks that are partially hidden since it targets their weaker top armor. On the other hand, the direct attack mode sends the missile straight at the target, making it perfect for taking out unarmored vehicles and fortifications. Being able to switch between these modes gives soldiers more tactical options based on the threat they're facing. And with its fire and forget capability and predicted line of sight guidance, operators can stay concealed after firing, reducing the risk of enemy counterattacks. This combination of versatility and smart design makes the N-Law a powerful and reliable choice in the heat of battle. When it comes to anti-tank weapons, the ability to destroy armored vehicles is everything, and that all comes down to how powerful the warhead is. The NLAW packs a 1.8 kilogram warhead that's specifically designed to pierce through even the latest tank armor, including those equipped with explosive reactive armor. It can penetrate over 500 millimeters of armor, making it more than capable of taking out advanced main battle tanks. What's even more impressive is how the warhead works in overfly top attack mode, 
it detonates at the perfect spot just above the target, maximizing damage to the vehicle's weaker top armor. This combination of precision and power makes the N-Law a formidable tool against armored threats on the battlefield. The N-Law can be set up and ready to fire in about five seconds by just one soldier, which is a huge advantage in fast-paced combat where every second matters. It's also incredibly user-friendly, meaning troops don't need extensive training to use it effectively. This simplicity allows soldiers to quickly take down targets, even if they're not familiar with more complex weapon systems. Whether it's day or night, a single soldier can deploy the N-Law in just five seconds, and it can be fired safely from tight spaces as small as four by 2.5 by 2.5 meters. Thanks to its saltwater countermass system, it's safe to use in confined areas, making it versatile for a variety of situations. But with all these impressive features, the real question is, how has it performed in actual combat? The N-Law has really shown its worth in actual combat, especially in the ongoing situation in Ukraine. Before things escalated in 2022, the UK sent over 2,000 N-Law units to Ukraine, and with more shipments, that number climbed to over 8,000 during the conflict. The system's soft launch feature and its ability to be fired in tight spaces have been super handy in Ukraine's diverse battlefields, whether in cities or in guerrilla warfare scenarios. Ukrainian troops have taken full advantage of the N-Law's accuracy and user-friendliness, effectively targeting Russian tanks and strongholds. Its performance in urban warfare, where fights often occur at close range and require quick movements, has been especially impressive. The N-Law stands out as a highly effective and versatile anti-tank system designed for modern warfare. Its lightweight design and portability make it suitable for individual soldiers operating in diverse environments. The operational flexibility provided by its dual attack modes allows for effective engagement against various armored threats. Coupled with an advanced guidance system and powerful warhead capabilities, the N-Law has proven itself as an invaluable asset for dismounted troops facing contemporary combat challenges. So, what are your thoughts on this anti-tank weapon? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.